All right, so let's keep going on web servers. So in the last episode, we saw how web servers are really just computers that are being configured to listen for HTTP requests. And once it receives a request, it will try to locate that resource on the web server and return an HTTP response. And I want to continue down and pull a little bit more on this thread and see how it works under the hood because I really want to hammer down the point that HTTP messages are really just plain text messages that are being sent to the web server, which then takes that message and kind of breaks it apart and looks at the content and sees what do I need to do to accommodate this request. So I'm going to go over to my terminal and start my HTTP server again. Now, if you're following along, it's not important that you have the same folder structure as me or even the same folder name. You can start a web server from anywhere within your own file system. And it's not important that what we do matches up exactly. So I'm going to start my HTTP server here and it's listening on port 8000. Now I'm going to open up a new tab in my terminal because I want to run another program. And the program that we are going to be running is a program that allows us to connect to our web server via the terminal. And we're going to use a program called Telnet. So I'm going to write out Telnet and then localhost 8000. And now we are connected to localhost. So we managed to find the server that was running on localhost 8000 and we connected to it. And now we can send messages. So let's try that out. Let's try to send a get request to the root using protocol HTTP slash 1.1. And you can see we get a response back. So the response is HTTP 200 OK. So the request was OK. And here we have some more information from the web server. And we have the HTML that makes up the directory listing that we saw in the last video. Now, let's try another request. Let's try to get um, hello.txt. So if you remember, in the finder, we have a, if I can find the right place, we have a text file called hello.txt. And let's try to construct a HTTP message that we sent to the server that allows us to look for this file. So we're connected to localhost 8000. We connected to the web server. Now we're going to construct a HTTP message. So we're going to try to get hello txt using protocol HTTP 1.1. And we can see that the request was successful. The HTTP response starts right here. And we get 200 OK. And beneath the HTTP response, we can see the contents of the hello.txt file. All right, so now we looked at a couple of examples, writing out these HTTP messages to the Python web server that we set up. What I want to do next is to try to create a web server of our own and see how it really boils down to how we receive these HTTP messages and respond to them. So that's what we'll be doing in the next video. So thanks for tuning in and make sure to catch that one as well.